Hello everybody, getting a little video tonight. I've been having trouble with my backhoe. I got it warming up just a little bit, you guys can see it back there, but uh, the uh, front end loader essentially quit working. The, the lift of the lift arms or the tip of the bucket. And uh, I'll go over there and uh, it's gonna be a little bit noisy with the tractor running, but I wanna show you guys what I've got. So the interesting thing about John Deere stuff is they've got a great website and this actually control valve stack has a relief right in the uh, right in the valve stack so I'll show you what we got this I'll show you what it's doing to make it so you guys can understand why I think it's the the control valve or the relief valve so Okay guys, here's the relief valve. And this little disc right here, I don't know how well you guys will be able to see it, is loose. So it's not pushed up against the snap ring. So what I'm gonna do is I got this socket that'll fit right inside of that. And then I'm gonna put it in the vise and try to cycle that check valve and see what it does. Okay, so I got the, the socket in there. You guys can see that cycling just a little bit. So I don't know how much travel that thing's supposed to have. You can see the spring in there inside of that compressing. Let's see what it looks like. So this little uh, disc right here is still loose. I might try to cycle one more time and see what it does. All right, so that, that disc is still loose. And my thought is, is that should be resting against it. So, and I can't put enough pressure on the vise to compress that. But bear in mind, that relief is set at 2,600 pounds. So that's a pretty bad A spring inside of there. So I, I thought about if I pull this apart and could see something obvious wrong with it, like it's plugged full of dirt or, or plugged open or something, I may clean it or do whatever and try to put it back in. I don't think I'm gonna. I'm supposed to have a new one here tomorrow. So I think I'll wait and we'll put the new one in tomorrow. To be continued. Well, hello everybody, just called from work and uh, my new hydraulic valve for the backhoe showed up today. They said this thing was shipped from Europe, if I understood what the guy said. It took about 10 days to get it here. It said this is the only one in existence as far as his computer system goes. So that's the trouble with running 50 year old equipment. But hopefully it works. Uh, got my headlight on as you can see and it's cold and dark outside but we're gonna go give it a shot see if we can get this old girl running again so here we go okay so what I've done there's the valve stack for the loader controls I've had to kind of dismantle this uh, high, this linkage for the control system and there's like three bolts underneath there can't see very good but there's three bolts that bolt the stack to this heavy bracket so I just unbolted them three bolts, took this linkage off, and was able to slide the valve stack without disconnecting any of the hoses, and then reached through this hole right there and screwed that relief valve in. So there's the new relief valve. I'm gonna just set the phone down, screw that guy in, and then we're gonna hopefully have the back hole back in action. All right guys, well, it's dark and cold but I got that uh, relief valve in and I think it's working of course it's below freezing out here I don't know what the temperature is you know 10 15 degrees and this old backhoe always the hydraulics are really sluggish when it's this cold but but I think you know earlier in the video bear in mind I took that earlier part of the video like almost two weeks ago but um, so. 
hydraulics are barely even moving and I think what I'm going to do is I'll show you what the hydraulics are doing right now and then I'm going to get on the tractor and go grab a couple bells of hay and see how it lives. But anyway, I'll put the camera in. I'm gonna uh, hurry and get all the covers and everything buckled up on this old guy, and then we'll go lift some bales. they warm up you know I've, I've run this before in the winter you know but it takes an hour or two of operating the hydraulics to really get a warm up good so we're gonna call it good for tonight thanks for watching everybody please subscribe